In this video, we're gonna make this trailer frame. We're in the process of building a little camper, five foot by 10 foot, and so we're gonna make this frame out of complete scrap. Ordered the axle, got some steel, and I hope you're ready. So we doing this? Right now it's just a pile of steel. Soon though. Well, the base of the frame is done. We just got this uh, tacked in, all these cross braces, and so uh, we're gonna call it a day. Well, we're back at it again. We just uh, plug welded up the top of this coupler. Got our frame partially welded together, so I think we're gonna go ahead and try to lay this sucker on top of there, get it squared up, lined up, and uh, make some progress. We got the tongue set on here, squared up, it's center. And what we're gonna do is these will get welded on here. And what I've marked here is a little pie cut. This, this angle is 25 degrees because the, the hitch is a 50 degree spread. So 25 degrees here, 12 and a half from each side. We're gonna notch this whole thing out on both sides. And this piece will fold in and be straight with the bottom of this frame. And it's gonna run all the way back to here, which will be where our front spring hanger sets, and then the axle, and then the rear spring hanger. That'll make a really solid trailer with the tongue uh, wrapping all the way to the axle, really rigid, it will never break. We'll have to notch that like we did the, the cross brace. So we got those cut, the little angles there, and got this uh, at least kind of welded in to where it will stay. And then we're working on, we're putting a receiver on the back of this for like a cargo carrier or a bike rack or something, whatever, whatever Darren comes up with. But, um, we're gonna put this brace in there to help keep this back piece from twisting under a, a load. So I've gotta notch that out, get it welded in, and we're making some great progress. The axle is not here yet, so that'll be um, a few days, but we cut these so that these are even, and then we'll just weld those axle hangers on here, and we'll be pretty much done with the frame. All right, we've got the trailer fully welded. Got these spring hangers on there most of the way. Got to finish burning those in and uh, doing the other side. And then we will get those springs and the axle on here. Got to prep it for paint and get that done, but we're making some good progress. Boys and girls, we've got an axle on our trailer. We're about to move it for the first time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it'll tow. All right, I feel like we have to take it on a road trip right now. All the spring on it. Yeah, <laughs> the first hook. Definitely street legal with all the tail lights we have. Uh, yeah. That's what we were hearing. Hey, at least they won't stop us for no lights. No, they're busy. Chevy power. Oh yeah, that's just 2,000. Look, Lana. Lana, girl. Yeah. 
It's, it's our camper. It's our camper, Lana. We are back at it again, and we wanted this rack up on the front to store firewood or whatever, really. And uh, then we had this idea that we could make this rack multi-purpose by making it removable and use it on that hitch that we put in the back. And so we notched in a receiver tube into the front that this thing fits right into and sits flush. Another news, we have been cleaning. The metal's pretty well clean. Um, we've got that box. Where'd that box go? Oh, there it is. This box, it's for uh, running your light wires. It's got the distribution box and everything. So we're going to mount it right inside the tongue like that. Well, I got an early start at it. This, uh, this is Friday, um, July 3rd, we're off work. so. I got this uh, plate put on here, flush, and that will allow us to uh, step in this box. Well, if it'll focus, there we go. If this that box will bolt to those two studs I welded onto those brackets. This is my boat. I put these boxes on every trailer I make. And uh, this one's a little bit different, but I've got that plate on there, so when I'm launching the boat, I can step and never damage that box. Darren's out there painting, so I figured I'd show you what we're doing. We've got this Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer, a gallon of it. It uh, got this at Home Depot, about 30 bucks, and we thinned it down just a hair with this uh, just regular paint thinner. And we're spraying it out of one of these types of guns, uh, Husky. It came in the two kit, so if you buy the kit, we use the right gun. Honestly, we have no idea what the difference between that gun and the one All right, we just uh, finished the primer like an hour ago, let it dry, and now we're using this Rust-Oleum. Also got this at Anyways, we thinned it down with a little bit of that paint thinner the same way in that little mixing cup four to one and uh, using the same gun. Well, Darren's putting the finishing touches of paint on there. We got it back this uh, right side up and it's looking really good. That, that black paint is perfect. Just for everyone's information, took like 1.5 of those cups on the gun of primer and uh, 1.5 of paint. So um, we estimate we used like a quarter of a gallon. Temporarily have tail lights mounted. You got your wire that hooks into the truck, comes in here. This is the distribution panel. So you got your, um, just your ground and then your turn signals and your brake lights and then your running lights. So um, those are all connected here and then these wires we'll put in a loom and run them all the way back to those tail lights. The lights are done. And just like that, we've got our trailer frame. Darren just put the stabilizer jacks on the back there. And uh, we've started cutting out the main floor section. So be sure to stick around. Well, I know we said this video was over, but we just were kidding. And uh, as you can see out here, we've got the whole camper built. We're doing fiberglass right now. 
but for uh, right now we're making some mods to the trailer. And uh, one of the first ones we did is we added these front jacks to uh, make it real stable. So we got four, one on each corner now. And then um, we had to figure out a place to put our battery. And initially we were gonna put some, put like a box right here to put the battery in. But then we used uh, my wife's bathroom scale and uh, don't tell her about that, but we used it and it was 179 pounds of tongue weight without the camper on it. And we're hoping this whole thing's under 2000, so 179 is just too much. So instead we made this tray back here um, to set the battery on right behind the fender. And uh, don't, don't look at these welds. I haven't cleaned them yet, but um, this tray, so the 